Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Jaden Jennings. A cargo craft departs the space station. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams share their experiences from launch to low Earth orbit, and astronaut photography takes center stage on social media. Release commanded. Northrop Grumman's uncrewed Cygnus spacecraft departed the International Space Station on Friday, July 12th, five and a half months after delivering more than 8,200 pounds of scientific investigations, commercial products, and other cargo to the orbiting laboratory for NASA and its international partners. With the craft's departure, the Kentucky Reentry Probe Experiment 2 stowed inside the spacecraft prepared to take measurements to demonstrate a thermal protection system. This investigation could lead to improvements in heat shielding during atmospheric re-entry. On July 13th, the Cygnus craft filled with trash then underwent a destructive re-entry where it safely burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. We are having a great time here on ISS. You know Butch and I have been up here before and it feels uh, like coming back home. It feels good to float around. It feels good to be in space and work up here with the International Space Station team. So yeah, it's great to be up here. So I I'm not complaining, Butch isn't complaining that we're here for a couple weeks. On July 10th, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams participated in an on-orbit news conference where the crew discussed various elements of the Starliner mission thus far and answered questions directly from the media. We've been integrated right into Expedition 71, 71 plus as we call it, and we've been doing science for them, uh, maintenance, some major maintenance that um, has been waiting for a little while, like stuff that's been on the books for a little bit. Uh, I got to do some gene sequencing. I think you got to do some other science experiments mm -hmm. as well uh, with a moon microscope uh, that was 3D printed. So we've been thoroughly busy up here, integrated right into the crew. And uh, every, every about once a week, we get to jump into Starliner and talk to our control team there and work through all uh, the new nuances that, are, that they're working, that they're working very hard on the ground to make sure that we uh, will be able to come home before too long. Since the beginning of the space station, astronauts have taken many photos of Earth. The photos that are taken actively support our understanding of the planet, advance our knowledge of climate change, natural disasters, and even the vast changes of our Earth's landscape. And while most traditional satellites only take photos looking straight down at the Earth, astronauts can capture images from a variety of perspectives. We have this camera set up in here. We put all the settings into the camera. It's going to be uh, 6400 ISO. NASA astronaut Matt Dominic has captured several breathtaking images of Earth during his time aboard the space station and has posted several on his social media account on X at Dominic Matthew. Some examples include an image of a Dragon spacecraft docked to the station that is illuminated by the moon in the upper right hand corner. A sliver of the moon from 260 miles above Earth as clouds appear toward the horizon waiting on the sunrise. He has even captured notable landmarks such as the Nile River and Mediterranean Sea and natural disasters such as Hurricane Burl as the Expedition 71 flew directly above the storm. You can keep up with the rest of the current crew on board station by following us on social media at space underscore station, at NASA underscore astronauts, at astro underscore Jeanette, and at astro underscore sunny. And that's Space to Ground for now. Thank you so much for watching.